Hey everybody, Fifth Horseman here, playing more FTL, and we're in a brand new ship, the Swallow, our second advanced edition only ship, and it's got a Lanius on it, and that Lanius is Alpha. Along with that, we've got me as always, and Mr. Ash. I mean, we look like twins, I think we have exactly the same face facial color <laughs> going on, but that's not a big deal. Let's go ahead and start this out and see what's going on. Okay, well, we've got dual lasers and an ion stunner. Not my absolute favorite. The one nice thing, I think that they, yeah, they do perfectly uh, match up. And they also perfectly match up with flak. So much like the red tail, if we pick up a flak cannon, we're basically good all game. Um, but until then, we are uh, just going out there. We're gonna, we're just going to see how this thing goes. I haven't, I'm going to admit, I haven't really played this game a lot. Not this game, this ship, I should say, a lot. I do like the fact that the Ion Stunner and the Dual Lasers match. Um, we'll see how that works for us as far as anything else goes. This ship can't hurt us, which is a great beginning. And then the Ion Stunner is going to stun them as they try to fix things. It even stuns the robot, which is kind of funny. <laughs> And they're trying to escape, but yeah, we'll just let them keep thinking they can do that. <clears throat> there we go, a fire. Sadly, that fire is a little bit late in coming. But it will mean that these shots will kill them. And their ship is dead. Okay, the ship explodes, giving us 12 scrap, which is always nice. Lots of stores. Not really going to go for him. Uh, I think this nebula is kind of going to be difficult to get to, but we'll see what happens. It's only one nebula. I can. I don't mind skipping it. If uh, Let's send an away party to investigate. Intruders on board. <laughs> and they picked the best room to go into. Mr. Lanius, you are going to have to tank a little bit because we're just going to let those guys die. Uh, okay, let's do the same thing as before. And here's another ship that can't hurt us, which is awesome. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll get a fire started pretty quick in their ship, and uh, things will go good from that point on. Okay, Arlenius survived that onslaught. It's going to take him quite a while to come back, but oops, I, I'm not auto-firing for some reason. This guy's a little bit more powerful than... Uh, Wow, a lot of dodge on this dude. Oh well, like I said, we, we can't get hurt, so what's the big deal? There we go, that's what we like to see. Now if we had a second ion stunner, that would be awesome, because we could, we could stun the guys as the fire burns them. <laughs> but I think we're just going to keep pummeling their shields here. Uh, they want to give us four fuel? We don't need fuel. We need your death. I'm going to switch the dual lasers to the cockpit so that uh, they both miss, because that's what happens when you fire at the cockpit. <laughs> okay, the ship explodes, leaving behind us a scantial, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm going to continue on this, but then I'm going to hit escape because I'm a little concerned about my video recording because it's not showing my hard drive space as going down. So I'll be back in just a moment, just in case this didn't work. Okay, my, my worries were for naught, apparently, because even though it wasn't telling me that the numbers were going down, the numbers were, in fact, going down. So I don't really care. Okay, let's keep going here. Distress call. I'm not really looking forward to a distress call, so let's go ahead and jump here. Alpha gets a little bit of healing from that clone bay. Uh, let's go ahead and attack this guy before he can attack us. Um, this is the first ship that can actually hurt us. However, I believe the timing is off so that uh, during this first volley... Oh, definitely he can't. Um, I'm going to fire the dual lasers to hopefully take something down, but I don't. And definitely the, the timing is going to be off on this second volley. Wow, we could not... There we go. Now the timing's definitely off because he can't uh, he can't fire both of his weapons. And there we go. Now hopefully this will 
dice. Six fuel. Uh, yeah, we're not going to accept surrender again. We're actually going to go for your shields this time to hopefully pull your pilot away. Nice. Now we'll go for the cockpit. Uh, let's go back for the uh, weapons. Oh, you're dead. Well done, crew. 14 scrap. We're very close to being able to get our second uh, shield here. Starting to think about that nebula. Uh, turn and fight. Well, yeah. That's kind of the, the, the task that we do here. And if, a, uh, if an asteroid hits their shield right as I fire, I'm going to fire the dual laser right away. And this is going to hurt. Oh, that really hurts. Um, yeah, we got to fix our shield right away. First thing we could possibly want to do is fix our shield. Come on, get that shield fixed. Okay, shields are fixed. Um, you sadly can't really fix that. And I don't think it's worth doing that. So let's go ahead. Actually, you go and fix that. You stay on the shields and keep them going. Man, this game doesn't like us at all. Come on, put that fire out. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to close the doors and then open all the doors except these ones. And then you are going to get in there and fix the weapons. Okay, now you are going to get back in there. And we can jump away. I'm not going to unless we have to. And by have to, I mean if, if he fires the flat cannon. That's, that's when I consider that we have to. They want to surrender. I'm going to say no because I'm a moron. Yeah, I'm going to... Okay, good. His weapons are down, which is very, very good for me. I would I would go in and try to fix the uh, scanner, but I'm afraid to leave my post, to be honest. And I'm actually even more afraid. I'm going to actually not do that. Okay, I'm going to bring out the piece of paper here, because I'm curious how many jumps we got for the end. Counting the half jump. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven with the half. The half being the nebula. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can do it if we beeline. So let's go ahead and beeline. Upgrading our shields the moment we can. Uh, let's go ahead and perform a scan of the area. And we find the rebel ship. And it would be really nice to be able to... You know what? We don't really need to dodge. You'll go up and fix the scanners. I mean, we need to dodge, but we don't need to dodge that one. Because apparently I'm wrong about <laughs> about the scanner timings. So you get down and fix that. Oh my god, and he just died. Now my shields are going to blow up. Oh man, this is horrible. Okay, at least his weapons are down. Go ahead and get out of there. Let's just wait for the fire to go out on its own. You go ahead and fix that. You get back on the weapons. There's a fire in my scanners. When did that happen? <laughs> ah. Okay, keep those weapons down. Okay. Okay, my scanners no longer have a fire in them, so I'm going to close these doors. I'm just going to keep pummeling his, his weapons. Huh. This game does not like me at all. If I, if I had been able to upgrade my shields from the last battle where I was in an asteroid field so I couldn't, this battle would have cost me nothing. But that's the way the game works. The game hates me, and it wants me to lose. Okay, and well, we got 12 whole scrap for that. That's a lot. 
Um, sadly, we got to go to this distress call, I think. Let's go ahead and buy those and one power. Get them running. Let's wait for him to finish those. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, we can avoid that distress call, and I want to because too often a distress call... Although we have an ion, which is most of the NG stuff. Also includes an ion. Uh, but if I can avoid a distress call, I'm going to. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's see. Intervene to defend the outpost? Why, that sounds like a swell idea. Especially because this guy has almost no chance at all of ever hurting me. I'm firing the dual lasers at his cockpit because they're going to hit before that does, which is hilarious that both of them missed and that hit. <laughs> but what are you going to do? We're going to do the same thing as before. There we go. Now we're going to switch to that. Because we don't actually care about um, that weapon, whether or not it hits us or not. On the off chance that, that it doesn't hit us, we're actually better off. Because we get dodge experience. There we go. And he's dead. So let's see what they like about us. They give us 15 scrap, which is fine by me. Let's go ahead and buy that power. Just to get that running. And duck into this nebula and see what's up. And there's nothing here. Well, that was a waste of time. But it actually wasn't a waste of time. Offer your assistance. You do not have time. Uh, yeah, we have time. Let's set them to maximum scan. Any life is valuable. Oh, see, I don't know if, if demanding they leave at once ever causes them. That's a really good bribe, though. We're going to take it. That's that's the, the, the what's what life is worth in this galaxy is 20 scrap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh yeah, attack the slaver scum. Um, you can't hurt us, which makes me happy. Okay, ion stunner at that. The chances of taking you guys out is very, very low. Almost comically low. So I'm not even going to consider it as a possibility. I'm just going to concentrate on Alex. Yeah, we got to take Alex. Okay, fifth, you are now Shield Man. Welcome to Shields. And we got two jumps in this, so here and then the exit. Yeah, that, uh, the, oh, and ship beam drone. Now, let me see if I remember to sell this one. The, uh, the jump into the nebula actually wasn't a wasted jump because, oh, wasted a fuel, I guess. But, uh, explore the asteroid field. Well, sure, we got plenty of hull points, right? Fires, and the oxygen's out. Okay, we're gonna do that. And then the two of us are gonna go in and fix the oxygen. But, uh, I only had six jumps, uh, without counting the, the nebula, and it was a bonus jump within the, within the realm of... The other things so not a big deal that we wasted it uh, okay let's head to the next sector with our 34 scrap we got zoltan controlled or rock controlled well i do not want to get missiled to death even though i want to hit all these reds um even with my 11 hole points i really want to hit a bunch of reds so we're gonna go this way plus we're getting to the point where a store would uh not be Looked down upon, we'll say. Um, one, two, three. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try to hit all these nebulas. So let's go here. Zoltan ship. Okay, this ion stunner will take care of that. He's only got two shots, so he can't hurt us. We like it when they can't hurt us. Uh, let's go ahead and plan for that. I guess I don't know. I think this Ion Blast might take out his shields completely, but I think it'll only do two. Oh, well, or miss completely. Okay, this Ion Blast might take out his shields. Assuming it hits. <laughs> the good news is, is he can never, ever touch me, so... There we go. That's what we're talking about. I think we're just going to keep pummeling his cockpit, because... It'll kill that guy eventually. Sadly, the, the the two guys, the other guy helps helps him fix it fast enough. Hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna sadly kill the ship off. But we were able to destroy the ship. Kill the ship off meaning kill the crew. I don't know where I make up these random words from. Um okay, we do want to yeah, you know what? I'm i I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the red tail, which is save up and make sure I always have enough to buy a uh flat cannon. Okay, he can hurt us with that missile, and now he can hurt us... Oh, he can't hurt us with that, so let's go ahead and uh, we're going to try to take out that missile before he has a chance to do too much with it, although he'll get one shot off, sadly. Okay, that's okay, I suppose. Um, we're going to do Ion Stunner again, and then the next shot of the duels is going at his cockpit. Nice. Then I think the next shot of his... Of the duels is going at his shields. Nice. And then uh, Ion Stunner at that, I suppose. It doesn't really matter. <clears throat> He's dead. He has no chance to survive. He should make his time. Okay, a bunch of scrap material. We got 58. No real chances for a store until we get out of the nebula, so I think I'm going to pop this up too. And then anybody who can only do one damage to us gets the uh, gets the treatment there. Uh, intruders on board. Where are they? Oh, they're mantises. And we have no... Okay, I'm going to assume they're going to go to shields. And I'm wrong. Okay, let's go up to weapons. <laughs> and then they go to shields. Bastards. And then they bring more guys in. This is bad. Um, we're going to... We're going to sacrifice our dudes, sadly. And we only need one shield, so let's bring this up. Oops, that was a mistake. Sorry guys, you're all dead. Um, okay, Ion Stunner at the shields. Dual lasers take out that. Okay, our guys are dying but coming back. <laughs> Their guys are all dying, which is really important. Okay, good. Now, get our oxygen starve systems back up. Get back to your post. We'll have air on the ship in a minute. <laughs> okay. Uh, just to make sure he doesn't regenerate any people. Okay, now... And I guess it really doesn't matter what we shoot at anymore. Oh! Oh, nice. <laughs> I guess it does matter what we shoot at. There we go. Whew. That was, that was dangerous. Four mantises on the ship. I think I did a pretty good job. I didn't take any damage because of it. Uh, let's go ahead and check out this distress call, even though we're not super hip on distress calls. Uh, I guess we can turn our clone bay off and get that up. Actually, let's get the shields all the way up. Check out this distress call. I'm not averse to put pumping more money into... Let's hail the refugees. They want to give us... Yeah, sure. We have far more chances of using that than that. Uh, I think I'm going to buy one power. And then we're going to go up here. Um, secure the fuel supply or the ammunition or let them live. Um, let's go ahead and secure the fuel supply. And we're probably going to need shields. I would guess we don't need... Well, I think... I can't tell if that's active or not, to be honest with you. Okay, it's not active, so we don't, we don't need shields. So let's go ahead and put everything into dodge. And then we are going to stunner that. And he bastard teleported on our ship. 
He's coming in this way somewhere. Whichever one he goes to, we're going to have to abandon the other one. Okay, we're coming up here. A Zoltan? Seriously? Okay, Ion Center away. Missed. Stupid thing. Okay, get out of there because... No sense you both taking damage when he explodes. Okay, so weapons are down. Our doors are not on fire. Let's go ahead and get the oxygen up. Uh, we need to take his shields out so he stops trying to fix his weapons. There we go. He's in our oxygen. I think we're just going to have to go in there and take him out. Sadly, we got the same, or at least a similar problem to what we had before. Okay, you go up there. You take the damage. Their FTL's delayed, which means they are not going to get away. I think we can uh, take the time to fix our doors while we blow him up. And we got seven scrap for that garbage. Oh, the game does not like me. Okay, moving on. Should probably have our shields up. Clouds and silence. Okay, that's fine by me. I, I hear a fire. Yeah, I definitely hear fire. Just gonna run Elanius around a little bit. Oh, there's the fire. Okay, there's nothing else. No other fires. Oh, no, we can't do that. We'll just let the let the ship oxygenate itself in its own good time. Pull the ship in closer. <sighs> no. A store there. I don't have enough to buy a flat cannon, so I'm not going to go to it. Check it out. Sure. Heavy duty construction, 16 scrap. That works for me. 33 scrap. This will be 25. That'll be... 60, yeah, that's not enough to buy a flat cannon either, so let's go down here. Okay, two drones, two shots, so they can't hurt us, which is nice. Two NGs, so the chances of... Uh, the chances of killing them is pretty low. However, if they don't get that fire out... Nice. <laughs> Ah, damn, they got the fire out. Yeah, we're not, yeah, we're not killing them, so let's just go ahead. <laughs> there might have been a better way to do that so we could kill them, but I don't know what it is. Uh, 46 scrap total. Ironically, we could now get to a store if we wanted to. Uh-oh. Okay, we need to take their weapons out as quickly as possible. And... I did that so that... Yeah. We're just gonna have to hope our awesome dodge does something. Could we possibly dodge one or two of these things? We're down to, like, three whole health here. Okay, go up and fix that now. Ugh. You know, what sucks is the first store we come across is going to have a flak cannon, and then I'm going to have to decide between flak and uh, healing my hole up. I <laughs> just keep pummeling that dude. The good thing is having Elanius on board is kind of like having a repair bot that gets repair experience when he repairs things. 
Because he can go into those airless rooms and just fix the floor and we don't have to worry about him. Okay, we have full everything, so we're going to go here. And there's nothing here, and if we go to this store, we're going to have to fight the rebels and it will murder us. So we are going to buy a single power. So we can get that going, and then we are going to go to the exit. And avoid that store with our three whole points. Repair 10 damage? I think we got to do it. Yeah, we're going to do it. Repair 10 damage. That gets us all the way up to 13. Our hull is no longer flashing. Uh, Zoltan controlled or Zoltan controlled? Well, let's take the bottom one of those two so that we don't have to worry about that nebula. This is very much like the last Zoltan controlled place we were in where there will be a ton of stores that we can't do anything with. Protect the alien's way of life. Attack the rebel ship. Uh, yeah, that sounds like a good plan. Okay, this guy scares the crap out of me. I think I think we've basically lost this game now. We need we need to do something, and I don't know what it is. I think that something is run away. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because I need all three of these shots to hit to do any damage. Ow, ow, ow. You're just going to have to do that yourself. And we're getting out of here. Um, God, I so want to go to those stores, but I want to go to them with scrap. Intruders on board. Oh, good. Mantises in our doors. Boy, okay, we are closing you off, and we are closing these off. And you're getting, you're going away. <laughs> yeah, we're in, we're in very deep trouble here. You got to get back up there, dude. Because, yeah... That was, yeah, we, we just lost the game. I don't think there's any possible way that we can survive this. Because we can't fight those mantises. We can't dodge anything. Oh, we can dodge things. Okay. And now they're going into the weapons room, which means more bad. At least we got our weapons up. Uh, ion stunner at that. Yeah, but this missile's going to get us down to... Yep, and our guy's going to die because we, we don't have a clone bay. And now we can't shoot him. And this missile... Oh, that missile didn't kill us. Oh, and then he's dead. <laughs> oh, well, at least I got about 30 minutes of video <laughs> to post, I suppose. Yeah, that was that was nasty. Uh, what are you going to do? Um, okay, well, that's, uh, that's our first run with the Swallow. And the game swallowed us a whole... I hope you enjoyed watching me lose. I definitely enjoyed losing. I am Fifth Horseman, and I will. Oh, wait, yeah, I should probably tell you what I'm going to do next. Shouldn't I? Why not? Because um, I, I have no freaking clue what I'm going to do. Uh, we've already played all of these ships. Um, we still need to unlock a lot of stuff. We have yet to get a victory with the uh, with the these guys, whatever they're called. <laughs> with the Mantis ship. So I think either this one or this one we're going to play again. And I think we're going to do the Gila Monster on uh, hard mode. We're going to do hard mode because I, I feel like playing hard mode. Um, so I hope you watch me. You enjoyed watching me play. I definitely enjoyed playing. I am Fifth Horseman and I will, as always, talk at you later.